Columbia comes in. Loud and clear, Columbia. Yeah, I guess you noticed the spec 224 message with a cumulative quantity down arrows and cabin and aft heat exchanger T's high. Columbia for Mike, we're looking at the 224 message. Roger. That would be TVC1, Don. Okay. I'm not sure you can focus on this, but it's just a small brass connector with a green end on it. And we are getting a, to focus the camera. We're getting a view on the ground, but it is a little out of focus. Okay, let me try to focus for you. Thomas has been busy with uh, the activation of the. Copy that, Don. It looks like the next activity in the timeline is your lunch. So uh, you can go ahead and go to lunch, and when you come back. Uh, Kimberly will be on. Okay, copy that. I'm off to lunch. Dorita, thanks for a great start here today, and we're looking forward to uh, at least 15 more days of this science activities up here. Thanks again. Copy that, and talk to you tomorrow. Copy, that's the last activity until LIF uh, at 8.15. Uh, Hostile Space Lab for CM1, I got some good news for you. Okay, we're ready to hear it, Greg. Okay, the good news is I opened the uh, panel cover on the DPP, and floating right in front of my eyes was that little screw, which was lost off of the card edge guide tightening mechanism. So I grabbed it and removed it. And I'll put it into the lost screw bag, which we'll have on board here. We're pleased to hear that. Thanks a lot, Greg. Yeah, Don, that's a negative uh, on the performance of IFM04. Okay, I'm pressing on the B.14. 
Okay, and I'll go ahead and tell you also that the timeline has been counted and that no GSU bottle exchange is required. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Huntsville uh, Space Lab, I've removed the uh, HRM flight backup board and placed it into the HRM interface zip lock temp stove bag. Copy. This is Mission Control, Houston. In this view from the Space Lab module on board Columbia, Payload Commander Janice Voss at the far end of the Space Lab module and Payload Specialist Greg Lunteris at the forward end are continuing to support scientific investigations on board, activities going very smoothly in the first few hours of the STS-94 mission. There is a wide variety of scientific investigation taking place as part of this microgravity science laboratory mission. And this view from the Space Lab module actually is one of the uh, technologies being used on board. It features a system referred to as HIPAC for highly packed television. It does allow researchers on the ground at the Payload Operations Control Center in Huntsville, Alabama to simultaneously view up to six different experiments. Space Lab Huntsville, uh, no response required. Just want to let you know we're changing views from CVC-1 to CVC-2.
Houston, the exchange light is off, operate light is on, O-N. Okay, Don, and you can also hit the acknowledge, the ACK push button. Okay, Don, we copy. We think this wraps up this operation. Um, we believe that this force cooling will take about two hours before we can get down to a touch temperature, and at that time um, we'll do a gas exchange and continue on with another sample. Okay, copy that. I'll be heading off to exercise here. Okay, copy that. Uh, we'll not require a bottle change. Thumb wheels number 61, and the C-box West connector is the one we'll use, and that is the nominal one. So uh, we're good to go when we get there. Thank you. Great memory. 